So it's getting warm outside and it's a selection year where the demons serve us two cartoon characters to pretend like we have a say in how the world gets run, which means it's protesting season. So here's some tips and tricks on how to protest. Definitely have a vague and very surface level understanding of what it is that you're protesting about. Just, just go out there. If a journalist or somebody asks you some gotcha question like why are you out here or what are you mad about, just dodge it. Just dodge it. Number two. Make sure you wear a face covering. You wouldn't want your family, friends, coworkers, or anybody who knows who you are seeing you out there protesting for that thing. You wouldn't want to jeopardize your relationships or job or anything. You wouldn't want to do something crazy like show your identity and prove that you actually stand for something. And then if you need to swipe something from the Walgreens on the way home to, you know, feed your kids like a candy bar or, <laughs> or some makeup, you could go and grab it with impunity. Number three. Make sure your phone is charged. You wouldn't want anybody, you wouldn't want anybody to miss the fact that you're out there because you really want to share it and let other people know that you're smarter than them. And most importantly, morally superior. Definitely make sure you have a sign or are at the very least prepared to join in on a chant. Everybody loves a slogan and it proves that you kind of know why you're there. What do we want? I don't know, my roommates told me to come. When do we want it? I'm pretty sure now. Before I continue, this is comedy satire. If you're a fact checker, you're an idiot. Number, I think, six. Definitely be prepared to destroy something that has absolutely nothing to do with the thing that you're protesting, the people you're protesting against, and that no one associated with it, even remotely, will have to pay for. Stick it to the taxpayer, somebody else. Number seven, definitely do it at night. You wouldn't want to miss, miss a shift at the Cricket Protein Smoothie Bar, and it'll also give other criminals the ability to blend in with you guys and get away with other crimes while all the chaos is happening. Next, make sure that this is the only actual real thing that you do to protest against this cause. Don't do anything meaningful in your daily life or online or in any other place where you could actually make change. Just go out there and yell, that'll do it. Number nine, I think. Make sure whatever political affiliation or party that you choose to re vote for repeatedly time after time has definitely something to do with the thing that you're protesting against and then go and continue to support and choose that party going forward. Completely unaware of where they, where they actually stand on this issue or really any other issue except for the one that you care about the most, which probably isn't this one. Number 10, be sad generally, hate your life. Maybe your parents too. Maybe just hate yourself as well. That's always the easiest one. Make sure that you're probably on some SSRIs or some antidepressants, probably because of dad. Number 11, be unattractive. Just don't even be slightly attractive. Not even the littlest bit. Not even, don't even try at all physically to improve your appearance. Just be really not good looking. Number 12, have colored hair, J just have it. Just like, just like poisonous frogs and reptiles in the wild, the brighter the colors, the more poisonous the animal or the reptile is. So be like a poisonous frog and have colored hair so people can spy you from far away because you're poisonous, just generally speaking, in the way that you think and act. Number 13, if you're gonna wear a face covering, make sure that it's one of those porous blue diaper things that definitely protect you from the poisonous air because those things really work. And also it'll hide you right from your identity and prove that you care about others, like grandma. Number 14, and I can't really stress this one enough, have absolutely no discernible life skills or life experience whatsoever. The less you know about the basics of how things work and the less value you output to society, the more fitting you are for these specific things. You'll fit right in. Number 15, just hate capitalism generally. Have no understanding of what capitalism is or how it works, but be wearing it, drinking it, driving it to the actual protest. Use that exact same capitalism to succeed in life maybe later, and just don't understand any other possible solution other than capitalism, but be mad at capitalism itself. Number 16, if you get into a situation where other people are doing something really stupid, also do that stupid thing. The only thing that really works is when crowds or mobs do things. That's how you make it really effective. So you see a dumb thing that you didn't really think that you were gonna do, do it anyways. There's no repercussions, don't worry. Number 17, this is more of a bonus, not a requirement. Be really over outrageously interested in K-pop stuffed animals or some childish behavior that brings you back to the childhood you never had. Number 18, be involuntarily celibate, or at the very least void of any loving human interaction that would make you realize that the world is really not all that bad and there might be a better way to do this. Make sure no one's touched you in a loving way or given you any affection in recent months, perhaps a year. Bonus points if ever. Number 19, strongly inconvenience a bunch of people that have absolutely nothing to do with the thing that you're protesting and may even agree with you, but make their life extremely uncomfortable and terrible for no reason at all. Number 20, have absolutely no plan whatsoever. Plans are for the patriarchy. Plans are for the oppressors. Having a plan is totally overrated. It's much better to just go out there and yell and be really loud and not really know what exactly you want or how it will fix the thing that you're mad about. 
Number 21, definitely be financed by or financially benefit the exact same people that created the problems that you're so mad about in the first place. It's best to be a useful idiot for the elites that monetize the chaos that you create. That's all for now. Stay tuned for more tips and advice on how to do great things.